Hello YouTubers, I'm Joshua. Uh, somebody suggested I start making YouTube videos, so this is my first try. I have no video editing software, so I'm going to have to run back and forth between the camera to pause it when I readjust or do long, tedious tasks. Um, what I'm working on today is uh, I've got a helmet for my electric moped. It only goes 20 miles an hour, so and I live 10 miles out of town, so it's, it's a long drive. So I really enjoy music while I make that ride. You know, I used to... Um, you, you know, use this little thing here, you know, because it's what I have to work with, and, you know, it, it gets by, but it's not very loud, and when it does, it's very grainy sound, um, and there's really no good way to position it, you know, on my moped for acoustic response, but, um, and then, you toss the helmet on, and of course, there's another layer of insulation or absorbing material, whatever you want to call it, to make the sound even deader. So, I got some some Beats headset the other day that a friend wanted me to repair and uh, because the head strap was busted and everything, I couldn't. There's some wiring problems too, but that's the part I'm good at. Um, so I went ahead and took the parts off of it that we could use for another set that he had to complete and what left me with was the drivers and the busted head strap and everything and um, I got to thinking today well, well why don't I try you know fitting these inside my helmet and uh, and seeing if I can make you know something kind of neat in my helmet to listen to and so I got my hacksaw out and tried it and sure enough look it fits I put the little the, the ear cut back on and went ahead and test fitted one side with the, the plug in to see how it lined up with my ear and how it sounded when it was actually playing through the left one because it you know it, it hooks right up with the jack and um, it works wow it, I mean it, it lines up it, it, it actually pushes up against my ear and closes off the sound and it sounds like like they're supposed to so success um, so now I'm working on that so I got that one out you know I got my second the other one I'm gonna put them in put them back together and what have you, um, uh, you know, here's my little workstation, I know it's, I know it's a little messy, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'd say I'm not organized, but I am, I just don't have any, anywhere to really put anything, you know, but I know where everything is, I, I, I know where I've set everything, and, and, you know, know where it is, um, you know, my little workstation, I, I, you know, I, I don't know if this is from being a kid or whatever, you know, or, Sorry, a, a, a habit I get as a kid, but I, I, I like working on the floor when I'm doing stuff like this because I can just spread out and and everything, you know. And, and, and you know, I got I got shaky hands from a, a, a epilepsy or whatever that they want to call it, um, you know. But but anyway, what I'm wanting to do here is uh, plug in my soldering iron and. Uh, let it heat up here. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm just okay. It's warming up good. I pull up my folder, you know, wire kit, whatever else I need. Uh, but but anyway, what I'm going to do right now is, like I said, the left one plugs right up. Um, I'm going to need to. I'm probably going to do the same thing I'm doing with this one with this one eventually because of the pressure that that foam and that uh, chin strap puts on this connector isn't going to last very long. We know that. Um, but what I want to do with this is uh, I got this neat little splitter and I'm going to take this cord here and solder it to this so that, boom, there's my right and then I can take and there's my left. And as you see, now I 
have a way that I don't have to have a wire running inside of here, and I don't have to have I don't I don't have to have these connected when I when I'm not wearing them or when I'm not using them. I can just come down here and go click, and then they're not connected anymore, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, you know, I'm sure eventually because. I don't think, and the reason why I'm leaving them separate, why I'm not connecting them inside the helmet is because I don't think right away, at least the first couple of times I try it, I don't think I'm going to actually mount these in here like in a, on a permanent way. But once I, once I think I've really got, got, these, got this thing set up and it's working like I want it to, then I will go ahead and probably set a screw or something or maybe get some glue and I will go ahead and glue these. And when I do, I, I, that I will go ahead and, you know, run the cable up inside the helmet and just have one little outlet. And I might even do a, a really neat job and, and um, you know, and take, you know, not this one exactly, but something like this and, you know, hook it up to the helmet so that when, I'm, when, I'm, when it's disconnected, there's nothing to, to grab or tear. And then when I'm ready to use it, I just come in and, and this, and then into my phone. If it all even works out, and I really have fun with it, then I might, instead of this, swap this out for one of these 